Hey y'all. Okay. So I wanted to come on and just show you guys how I like to meal plan each, uh, well, it's every two weeks, so not really every week, but, um, anyways, I hate like, seriously, like it brings rage out of me of what, when the question is asked, what do you want for dinner? Like, Jesus, don't ask me that Lord have mercy. Jesus take the wheel. So anyways, I was like, I'm going to fix it to where I don't feel the rage inside every time that question is asked. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my phone. Hold on one second. Sometimes it takes it a hot second to, to do the whole sharing thing. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. So um, the I've got like a whole little meal planning folder, and the two recipe, I mean the two apps I use the most is All Recipes and Yumly, and of course just here recently HelloFresh. And um, because I was like, oh my gosh, the HelloFresh kind of intrigued me because I was like, oh, it's kind of like a chef meal, like something you could get if you went out and had like a nice dinner or something like that. And so I thought, well, that'd be kind of cool because it'd make it, you know, kind of an interesting meal to have, um, you know, for dinner. And it would be fun to kind of to kind of do all of that. So anyways, um, Yumly is the first app that I normally, you know, go to. And a lot of times the way this, hold on, let me get back. I was doing a video here while like while ago and it just had all of this so anyways I know some of this stuff does not look uh appealing but some of it does and so you can go to explore so like if I need to be maybe inspired um and just something different for the week I go here and then I'm like okay uh let me go to um horses main dishes and so you could do Korean pork chops. That sounds like really good to me. So when you pull it up, you can like swipe up like that and you go to schedule eat time. I love this thing that this being able to schedule when you want it because it tells you like you can add like once I put in the like say if I wanted to eat this today at 5 p.m. you just add this to the calendar and so that it's going to tell you at 3 40 you need to prep well let's just be for real here because it's not 3 40 so say like if we wanted to eat at 7 p.m. you would need to start prepping this at 5 40 today and you would need to have it in the oven by 6.20 to cook, and at seven, you're ready to eat. And so I love that because it just simplifies the whole process, and for whatever reason, when I'm cooking, if that disaster is happening, which it rarely does, but um, I generally have Chris help me, <laughs> or I'm helping him. Um, you know, I should say, it's not him help me, it's me help him, because <laughs> I'm not a good cook, but whenever I do, I'm like, okay, I really need to be told when I need to start and how long it needs to cook. Like I need some step-by-step -step instructions. So you just click add to calendar and it's going to add that right to your calendar. Say like if there's some ingredients on here that you need to get before being able to, um, you know, to make this say you need to you're wanting to plan this for one of your meals and so you're like okay I need to add the pork chops I need to add some soy sauce yep I'll need honey and I'll need the 12 cloves of garlic which is a lot of garlic for a recipe but anyways I digress um <laughs> Can there really be too much garlic per my husband? So right here, you're going to go, sorry, I'm just kind of clicking and clicking and clicking. So after you've created all of your meals that you're like, okay, I've picked these meals. These are what I'm wanting to have um, for my week or two weeks, however long you meal plan for, you go to the little button down here in the bottom, which is your shopping list. And this is showing you all of the things that you're going to need um, to purchase to make that meal. Okay, so then you go up here to where the little cart says eight, the number eight in it, and it says buy. So basically there's eight items in my cart, and then you're gonna go over to, you know, click that, click the little cart, and then you're gonna go shop now, and then you're gonna order your groceries. I always, I've been ordering my groceries now here for a while, so that's really cool. These are gonna be at Kroger, and I'm gonna just go with like, 
choose this one. I'm like, that one's a cheaper alternative. I do not need the whole organic type thing there with that one. Um, I can swap these for, you know, say like, I don't know, something cheaper. And you can do that. So you can, you see how you do that. So that's the cool thing about that. And then you'll say you've got your, it's already programmed in. Like the first time you do this, you will have to like log into your Kroger account and it'll link together. And then you just add this to your cart and then you're going to sign in here. And then once you do the whole sign in with this, then it'll prompt you to, you know, just check out and then you'll select your pickup time and then you'll go pick up your groceries and then you're good to go. And so I absolutely love this. Um, it's just been, it's been the best. And I'm trying to find, let's see. Oh, here it is. So you go to the little person icon down here and all the yum, yums that you've yummed, you will see those first, then scheduled and made, you'll see those next. And then just however you've got things broken down and categorized, it'll be in here like that. So I uh, love this. And some of these, the, here's some of the recipes that we've made. Um, the Korean pork chops, like I said, those are really good. Um, we've done the enchiladas, the uh, easy crock pot cream, what is it? Cream cheese, chicken chili. That was pretty good. And um, and it was really easy. And um, we've also done the barbecue Tex-Mex chicken, the Salisbury meatballs, although I would use kitchen bouquet with that. Um, I didn't like that flavor profile as much as I thought I would. And so anyways, the kitchen bouquet would be a lot better. And then the honey and soy uh, baked chicken uh, chicken thighs, those were so good. So anyways, those are just some meal, you know, where all your meal options are. And like I said, it just makes it so super easy. You can also, another really cool thing, because I'm going to show you my Trello board. I created a Trello board, which has been like amazing. You see this little arrow up here that I just clicked on and it says, okay, who, where do you want to send this? And then you just like swipe over Trello. I'm like, yay. And then you select the board and then you're going to go to Stephen's meal plans and then you're just going to save it there. And then it's just going to save it right over there on the Trello board. So you're going to see why that is so cool here in just a second. So let me stop sharing. Now I'm going to share with you my desktop, my Trello board that I've been using to kind of plan out for two weeks. Cause I plan out for two weeks and then I do all the shopping and just pick up the groceries at Kroger every two weeks. And so it's just nice to kind of have it laid out um, to where it's easy to, uh, to kind of look at and make sense of it. And then of course you can add your family members to your Trello board, which is really cool. And then you can like easily see what you're, what you're dealing with here. So this right here, it's broken down into different cards. And so this right here is my recipe vault. This is where I kind of store all the recipes in here. And then this is what needs to be prepped. So we do meal prepping on Sundays. And I generally just help Chris with all of that. He does, uh, he does most of the work, but I just help with it um, because he's just so good at cooking and he, he loves it. That's his thing. And um, so I'll add in here. Now I need to update this. This is not like, you know, here recent. So I've got slack on using it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can see where it like went off the rails a little bit. So anyways, I, you can just slide stuff over like your cards. Hold on like this. You just slide it over out of your recipe vault and you can say, okay, we need to prep this um, on Sunday. And then you can also schedule it, like click the card and say, okay, I want to schedule to have this, you know, on, let's see. I want to schedule this safer Sunday night and you can save it and then it'll, you can set a reminder. Also, here's the link. I don't generally um, come here to follow the recipe. I just generally like follow it. I'll pull up the Yumly app or the All Recipe app or whatever, the, wherever the recipe came from and just follow it through there. But you could just pull it all up from here and do it there. So it's just cool. And I just totally like nerded out with trying to get this all set up to be perfect and just to have a plan in place. 
And so this one's kind of cool here. This is a grand's recipe from a newspaper clipping, which is Chris's grand, her, his grandmother. And she had this in her purse when we were out there at Christmas. And she's like, hey, this is a, a casserole dish that I used to make back in the day. And Chris loved it. And I was like, no way. And she seriously like has, carries this newspaper clipping around with her. I was like, that is that is just too cool. So I had to save that. So that's in here. And I will make um, a copy of this board um, so that you can basically like create your own. You can kind of customize it to fit your family needs and, you know, that sort of thing. If this is something you're interested in, it may not be something that you're like, I don't need to do all that. <laughs> but for me, I had to like make it a little bit more simplified and a little bit easier to use. So and I just love it because you're able to kind of say, okay, we're going to have this honey and soy baked chicken on Wednesday. And then we're going to have Tex-Mex on Tuesday. And, you know, and so you can just move the cards along and then you can throw them all back into the recipe vault. And so that's just so cool. I, I love that about it. And of course, it's got, you know, what needs to be prepped, lunch, dinner, shopping list, and breakfast list. And so this is just really nice to be able to come to, like if I'm thinking of something on the fly, like, oh yeah, I need to be sure I remember to get sugar. I can add that right here. And that way, when I start putting together my grocery list, I've got it all ready to go and I'm going to remember it because it's here. And so if you're interested in wanting this board, all you have to do is just uh, make a copy of it. And if you need help with that, just let me know. Um, but anyways, I hope this is uh, helpful. And I was like, oh my gosh, I should tell, I should totally uh, share this because um, of the HelloFresh idea that I did earlier. And I was asking people, you know, had you tried it? And, you know, what did you guys think? And that sort of thing. And it just gets so hard and frustrating when you're like trying to figure out what's for dinner every day. And I'm just like, oh, gotta be, there's gotta be a better way. <laughs> and so anyways, I hope this is, uh, you know, helpful to you or you find it fun or you find it, you know, useful. And, um, anyways, I, um, I just wanted to share that with you and I hope y'all have an awesome day, an awesome weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye.